Hope you're having a wonderful day. It's Mac and 9B4 and the family. And today we're in Scotland, perusing the highlands. We just on an epic road trip and we just came across St. Conan's Kirk, which has been voted one of the most beautiful architectural churches in the world. It is really beautiful, guys, and I can't wait to show it to you. So watch this whole video. You're going to enjoy it. Located in the magnificent West Scottish Highlands, St. Conan's Kirk is a singular, unique, and eclectic church designed with architectural elements from prehistoric, Gothic, Roman, Celtic, Saxon, and early Renaissance influences. Kirk is also the Scottish word for church. Located two hours north of Glasgow, we decided to drive up to St. Conan's Kirk for a day trip. Designed by the architect Walter Douglas Campbell, the younger brother of Archibald Campbell, the first Baron of Blythewood, construction of St. Conan's Kirk began in the year 1881. Constructed and expanded over the next 50 years, St. Conan's Kirk was consecrated in the year 1930. The front of St. Conan's Kirk has pronounced rough-hewn stone with medieval towers and glassworking windows. As we explored the courtyard, I felt transported back in time. The rough-hewn stone and the large columns of wood made me feel as always in the Middle Ages. An enchanting feature of St. Conan's Kirk is the moss and grasses that grow along the base of the building. The structure is grounded in the earth. It feels as though you're one with nature as you walk around it and see the ferns growing up the side of the towers. We proceeded into the kirk through a massive Norman style Romanesque doorway. The framing was beautiful and the structure was truly magnificent. Noting the multitude of architectural design styles used in the construction of the St. Conan's Kirk, I was quickly greeted by my favorite gothic glass stained windows. The interior of St. Conan's Kirk is a beautiful blend of stone, wood, metal, and glass, all working together harmoniously to produce this awe-inspiring structure. At every turn, I was more impressed by the craftsmanship, the unique woodwork and artistic design found all over St. Conan's Kirk. this is the interior and this is one of the most beautiful churches cathedrals I've ever been in in my entire life what really sets it apart is the rough hewn stone that they use the coloration of the stone and then the architectural design overall is really impressive let me show you more of it more of the inside and then we're going to show you outside because it sits right along the lock the beautiful location the most awe-inspiring aspect of St. Conan's Kirk would be the altar, surrounded by beautiful Roman-style columns and glass windows. The altar is open and inviting.
Okay, so we filmed the interior and now we're gonna walk around the outside because the outside is just as beautiful as the inside, especially considering the location sitting right here over the lock. Nestled in the hills beside Lock All, St. Conan's Kirk could not be more perfectly placed for magnificent views. St. Conan's Kirk appears to have grown out of the forest with beautiful gardens surrounding on all sides. It really melds into the countryside. With the well-maintained woodland garden surrounding St. Conan's Kirk, it was good to see hostas, one of my favorite plants growing along the path. And these ones? I call them a steel bees, but the name may be pronounced differently. We used to grow those back at the house. There's a lot of pretty flowers here. Yeah, the gardens are pretty. It was also very interesting to see a stone cross outside of the kirk covered in Celtic knots. So guys, this is our second Scottish road trip, but this is the first time heading kind of up into the highlands a little bit. Be sure to follow along, like and subscribe. If you like what we're showing you here, hit that like button, leave a comment, and we'll try to continue to show you more. I'm not sure what else we're gonna see in Scotland, how much more we're gonna post, but whatever we do decide to post, you will be the first to see it. So this church is one of the most beautiful and best placed churches in the world. It sits overlooking Loch Awe, which is just, the views are phenomenal, guys. I'm gonna show you as much as I can, but absolutely phenomenal location, and the views are just splendid. Now we drove up to this location, but there's a train track directly below me. So I think you could probably take a train, day train, uh, up into this location as well as you drive across the highlands. That would probably be a great option if you didn't want to drive this far. It's two hours north of Glasgow. So yeah, those train tracks are right there. You can barely see them. Matthew's making the flowers Gothic flair continues on the exterior of the kirk with a beautiful buttress rising up from the ground. I haven't talked about how serenely calm it is. If it's quiet, you can just hear the, hear the lock gurgling below you. I hear Matthew, but if there was no Matthew, then you could hear the lock just gurgling quietly below you. It's such a peaceful location as well. It's always exciting for me to take my kids into wonderful locations such as St. Conan's Kirk. I know they may not remember it, hopefully this YouTube video will help them connect to it in the future, but it means a lot to me to visit these places because I think they're very beautiful. And it means even more for me to take my children to wonderful places so they can have those great experiences as well. been driving along up in the highlands here and the views are absolutely beautiful there's these mountains rising up on all sides just every time you come around a turn it is more beauty to be seen if you love nature outdoors the highlands come on make your way up here guys i'm telling you you're gonna love it